are a fast walker. My goodness. Whew, it took me forever to catch up to you. It's almost like you're trying to lose me. I mean, you, you dove right into that bramble bush, like head first. I had to walk all the way around. It took me forever to find you. Whew. I don't know why you went that way. You know, if you weren't careful with revealing your location to me by being loud um, and stomping uh, very heavily on the ground, I, I would have never found you. It's almost like, it's almost like you didn't want me to catch up to you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I know better. I know you're a fan. Ever since we met at that tavern, you know, how you pretty much told me that you would love to have me, you know, come adventure with you. Practically begged me, really. Uh, I agree to disagree. You begged. <laughs> mm, I mean, I don't think, you know, anyone in the tavern would have seen, seen that otherwise, you know. And, you know, maybe we can ask them. We'll ask them. You know, actually, don't. Don't ask them. It's all good. Hey, let's move on. You have a ton of brambles in your hair. <laughs> Having a bar traveling with you really has its perks. And one of them is that I am very gentle. Seeing as I write lyrics in such a beautiful way, I am also, you know, beautiful with my hands. Uh, I'm not really a dancer, but I'm getting there. Anyway, your hair. Let me help you. Oh, no, I insist. <laughs> I said I insist. I mean, who else is gonna get these out of your hair? They're really gonna bother you otherwise. Oh yeah, they're sticky and they hurt. And there's very little ways to get them out of your hair. Especially, you know, if you tried, you probably wouldn't have been able to. See? I am so incredibly gentle. I'm pretty darn good at this. Ow. What do you mean, ow? You big baby. Fine. Good luck getting them out of your hair on your own. I mean, just think about it. In the bath later? It's gonna be so hard. If only there was someone to get them out for you. I knew you'd come around. Here, allow me. Like I said, there's an expert way to get them out of your hair. It's, you know, pretty tricky. Luckily for you, I knew how. And one here. And... Uh, right there. And... Right there. I can't believe you dove right into that bramble bush. Must have been going insane. Something driving you insane? It's alright, you don't have to tell me. It's alright. I get it. It's been a hard couple of weeks, you know? So many monsters, so many people that need your help. I get it. Okay. A little better. Looking good. I mean, except for the... the large cut on your forehead. Oh, you, you know, actually, I think I can help you out with that, too. One second, let me just use a... I got this, actually. Don't worry. Hey, don't worry, I got this. I got this. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's no problem. Free of charge. Normally, I would, uh, you know, charge for these sort of services, seeing as I am very incredibly skilled at it. What do you mean? I'm just using... It's okay. I mean... I mean, maybe it is a little dirty, and we're running through the grassy area, there might be some dirt. You know what? I have a potion you can use. Just one second, I, I have it here. <laughs> I, uh, I put it, I put it here somewhere. <laughs> one moment. Where the heck did I, did I, did I sell it? Or? Hmm. How did 
that happen? I could have sworn it was full a few days ago. What the heck happened to this? Did I drink this? Did I give this to you already? I mean, that must be a reason why it's empty. Someone must have drank it while I wasn't looking. Or, uh... Oh! I remember. <laughs> you know, it was, uh, this weird thing where, you know, you were fighting and I was so sure that I was gonna get hurt in, in the kerfuffle that was going on and I drank this healing potion, uh, you know, just in case I was going to get hurt. Uh, it was a, you know, precautionary thing that I was doing. Thankfully, I never did get hurt. <laughs> you know, I know you were worried, but I'm fine, <laughs> you know. <sighs> With all these, you know, witchers and beasts and demons fighting, you know, you never can be too careful. <sighs> oh, you have a healing potion yourself. Oh, okay, okay, you've, you've healed yourself. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to be known for the record that I was going to help you. I, I had other things that I was going to try. Um, yeah, I, I was definitely there for you. You know, I think I might write in my next song all about how injured you were and how your lovely bard was there to help you out and heal you like a sick wounded puppy. Mm, that rings so well. What sort of tune should I put behind it? What do you- what the- what the- hmm? What's with that- with the- hmm? sound that you make? I don't know why I mentioned that. I mean, to be quite honest, I have to say, <laughs> we adventure really well together. Truly, truly. It's uh, so lucky for you. I mean, the way that I expertly, cunningly, was playing my loot and distracting the monsters while you beat them up. <sighs> I don't know what you would have done without me. <laughs> I know, I even amazed myself. <sighs> it's too bad my... poor loot was... damaged in the process. The strings just... Ruined. You know, if they were ruined, I would absolutely be serenading you as we speak, since, you know, you're a fan. <laughs> you love my work, I get it. Many people love my work. <laughs> don't worry. Shh, 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 don't worry. Let me go to town, uh, we'll get you some mail, and we'll get some new strings, and we'll fix this, and I'll go right back to playing my loot for you. <laughs> it was... So weird how that go creature, you know, was able to get a hold of my loot. It almost looked like you handed it to him, but I couldn't quite see, and I know you would never do that, so. <laughs> oh, my poor, poor loot. Listen to it. It weeps. That's the sound of its tears. Just <laughs> falling. I am poetic. Maybe I'll write that into the song. About my loot. The scratching from the monsters. Such a terrible fate for my loot. Lucky it wasn't smashed. Any more damage, and I would have been able, or I wouldn't have been able to use it. I know. It's lucky, you know? Even if it was destroyed, I would have just bought another one. Don't worry. I will always be there to play for you.
show it love every once in a while, you know. would know it's an ancient technique passed down from bard to bard your face look like that? All scrunchy. Like, mm. what is, one second. Your, uh, your face, it's like, it, it should look like, like this. I was just mentioning about how I was going to play my lute for you, so it should look like this. Um, here, let me help. You just go, like, that okay just it's I just want to show you it's like like this just try it out it's okay just try it out it's, um, shh, it's okay just try it out all right fine no touchy I get it mr. I have a bubble or something like that I get it you are in such a bad mood oh yes much worse than normal is something annoying you? Hmm. No, that can't be. Oh. I know what it is. <sighs> you poor thing. This is about that girl. <sighs> You're upset because that girl left you. I mean, come on. We all see it. I mean, she's nowhere to be found. Wow, she was so shapely and mean. So incredibly mean. Yeah, uh You know what, I I, I kinda see how you two work together now that I think about it. You sort of fit. And oh my goodness, your romance or your your brief romance. It was so passionate. Like, whoa. I mean, I could never unsee the things that I saw. I mean, you were like two spider monkeys, just... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I, I did not. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I saw, I saw nothing. I was just assuming, since you are two very passionate beings, that, you know, it was sort of probably something like that. N no, no, not that I was, like, thinking about it. I wasn't, you know, actively thinking about it. It just, I, I just assumed that, y you know what, actually, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's move on from this topic. Um, anyway, you're heartbroken. Ah. <sighs> Luckily for you, I know a few songs about a broken heart. For a few myself, seeing as I am a genius lyricist. No? You want to win her back? Okay. Well, I mean, I could help you. What do you mean you don't need my help? Of course you need my help. I mean, 
You're not really the romantic type. Good luck winning her back with your... You know, just... You and with your handsome face and the fact that you're incredibly heroic and... You know, now that I think about it, uh, maybe it doesn't matter that you're not very romantic. I think you have a thing going for you. But actually, she's different than the rest, and, and my guess is that to really, truly win her back, you are going to need a song written by uh, this girl right here. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. Hey. Hey. Stop. I got this. I got this for you. I already have my journal out. The journal in which I write all my lyrics. My songs that grace the ears of many. Uh, all my fans, they see this book and they just want to know what's in it. You know, I've many people try to steal it. You know, other bards try to steal it to steal my ideas. Since I am a genius of sorts, but uh, none could quite get it from me. So, let's open it on up and I'll let the creative process begin. What page shall we write our genius lyrics? Not quite, not quite. And there we go. So, to write this song, I'm going to need a little something from you. Now just, you know, tell me about her. Tell me about uh, your romance. Something, what's so special about it? Something you love about her. Well, don't tell me all at once. Jeez. I mean, I guess I could go off of what I assume your romance is about. Not that I've seen much of it. Just, you know, a lot of fighting and, um, other things. Uh, so... Hmm... I could make you seem like this, uh, gentle, tender beast. Um... I could write a song. The greatest love song ever written. About two... Two people that were meant to be together, like, they were bound to be together by fate. That's such an amazing idea. Bound. By fate. Oh, and yearning. Much yearning for each other's love, yes. Mm-hmm, so perfect. With your... this man with scars. Mm-hmm, mm yes. It's very good. Just stand there. I need to... I just need to put it, put, uh, actually, one second, let's see, okay, yeah, yeah, just want to make sure that, you know, of the color of your hair, and, like, what sort of, uh, very descriptive word I will use, um, let's see, Ch -ch -ch -ch. fortunes are bound, tender, tender man, mm hmm yes, okay, mm hmm the stars, Yes, they are what bind their fortunes together. Mm, yeah, mm, yep, this is good. Some really good stuff going on here. You know, most people would just absolutely pay millions for me to write songs like this, but uh, it's alright, since we're friends, you know, adventuring together. <laughs> I'll write it for free, no worries. I just want to see my, you know, friend here just happy again. It's okay. Ah, oh, yes. Your heart is ripped open by her leaving. You're such a, a sad, sad man, you know, after she left you. So incredibly sad. It's okay, let me feel this feeling. It helps me to write, to feel the emotions that you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Your heart was ripped open by this woman. She's a terrible, mean woman. Oh, yeah, I should probably 
leave that part out. The fact that she's scary. Um, okay. And then you will profess your love and your fates will weave together. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Um, next. Something of your romance. Maybe some details. Oh, let's write about how she flees your bed every morning when she realizes what she's done and that she doesn't want to be with you, something like that. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, she'll realize in the end that she wants to be with you. That's what the song is about. She needs to know her mistakes in the song. It's okay. Okay, in the morning. Um, what would you say uh, she smells like? Okay, berries? That's not very helpful. Okay, what kind of berries? <sighs> okay, LinkedIn berries or something like that. Well, berries, 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 berries. What about berries can I write about? Berries, they're tart. Berries, tart. And sweet. Berries, tart, Lila. Berries, tart and sweet. But no, 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 no. What else does she, um, does she smell like? Lilac. Okay. Okay, I, I don't really know what lilac smells like, but let's say it smells sweet. Berries, tart, lilac, sweet. Berries, tart, lilac, sweet. Berries, tart, lilac, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Berries, tart, lilac, sweet. I think we have something there. Berries, tart, lilac, sweet. Berries, tart, lilac, sweet. Berries, tart, lilac, sweet. Okay, and her hair. What, what color would you say it is? Is it dark brown or... Or black? Dark brown? No, 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 that's much too bland. We need something, a descriptor for hair that sort of is more poetic. Raven. Raven locks. We dream of raven locks. Because, you know, in the morning she's not there, so the only way to see her is in your dreams. Dreams. Dream, 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 of raven locks. Okay, and um, oh, her eyes. Yes, I do remember her eyes very, very vividly. They were violet, violet eyes, violet, violet eyes, violet eyes, violet eyes. What can I write? Glistening, glistening. Violet eyes are glistening. No, your eyes are glistening. As you weep, since you are so sad that she leaves. Violet eyes glistening, glistening, glistening. As you weep, violet eyes glistening as you weep. <gasps> this is wonderful. Violet eyes glistening as you weep. You poor, poor thing, weeping, weeping, weeping. Weeping all the way. <laughs> hmm, but I will say, there needs to be something to even out this tender, weeping man. The wolf. I'll write about you being the wolf. And she'll follow you. Yes. No matter what, you are bound to see each other again. She'll follow you into the storm. Follow you into the storm. Follow into the storm. Follow into the storm. To find your heart. Passions. They're far away. Passions displaced. Displaced passions. Passions displaced. Displaced passions. Oh, an ire, and ire for each other, ever growing, ire ever growing, ire ever growing, growing, hardening, 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 hardening. Sorry, I'm my inner Shakespeare. Hardening into stone, hardening, stone, stone, stone. What is harder than stone? No, you know what? Stone is good. Stone is good. Amidst the cold, heated embrace. Yes, you must meet in a heated embrace in the cold. How poetic. You know, with the cold and the, the heat of the embrace, you know, you won't be cold anymore. Right? Isn't that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. 
That's good. This is good. This is real good. Okay, hold you. He didn't brace. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm really deep in this writing process here. Um, it'd be good if you stay quiet. <laughs> Let the genius work. Okay, maybe we'll make the part about her hair and her smell. That will be the bridge of the song. That will be the bridge of the song. In the end, maybe we write about how we don't know if you will end up together. I mean, perhaps there's someone else. Is okay if there is. No, okay. But if there was, that's okay. So maybe we'll write about how we don't know if the fates are, you know, you two. But you know, you know, if uh, if by uh, maybe perhaps by love's blind chance you've been bound, blind chance, blind chance you've been bound. So let's do you say if it. I, I, we'll see. Yeah, that's fine. You've been bound by love's blind chance. You've been bound, yes. Okay. And you whispered a wish in the night that you would be bound by her. You wish every night as you fell asleep. Oh, I wish she would stay. Oh, I wish she would come back. Yeah, something about yearning and the whisper. Oh, and then something about. Your love beginning. The beginning of love. Ah, yes. And it's a love you have never known. A, a love that's more than anything. A love that you might never have found. A love that came to you by chance. It was all a chance meeting. All of it was by chance. You forged a love that you may never have found with this woman. I just... It's coming out really great. I think I'll stop here. And I'll give you a little preview. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, this song may be for you, but it's for her. I'm writing this song for you, for her. So this is something that you might need to sing for her. Uh, I mean, if you want, I could sing it for her, but I will... Be honest, I am scared of her. She is... She is very scary. So, if you could maybe learn this and not me, that'd be fine. That'd be really great, actually. Thanks. Okay. Oh, lyrics. Okay, lyrics are good. How am I going to sing this? What are the notes? It's a lot harder without my lute. I have to do breathing techniques.
it so far, I know. <laughs> okay, this next part is about you, the wolf. Okay. The wolf, I will follow to the storm to find your heart, its passions displaced. I am ever growing, hardening into stone amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace. And to the bridge. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your sand berries tart, lilacs sweet. To dream of raven looks and twisted stormy, of violet eyes glistening as you weep. I know not if fate would have us live as one Or if by love's blind chance we've been bound The wish I whispered when it all began Did it forge a love you might never have found You flee, my dream come the morning your scent berries tart, lilac sweet To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy Of violet eyes glistening as you weep Good so far, huh? Yeah Don't worry, I'll teach it to you It's okay, I'm sure you can sing what do you mean you can't sing? I mean, any, everybody can sing. I mean, not as well as a bard, for sure, but... Yeah, I do draw crowds. Many are excited to see me when I arrive to several taverns. Some tell me not to sing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because they don't want me to, you know, gather a crowd. Crowds can get very, like, woo, excited when, you know, the star is playing, so... Many taverns don't ask me to play for that reason and that reason alone. What do you mean? Was the, your face is still hmm, with the hmm. You're really torn up about this, aren't you? Listen, your song is written. Well, it's almost written, almost fully. I just need to get my loot fixed, and then I can, you know, get the notes along with the lyrics and things, and, uh, you know what, bud? We'll get you some mail. Yep, I know what you need. You need some mail. <sighs> All right, let's go. Let's go to the nearest city. Let's get out of this area with all those weird goat things that keep trying to attack us. Yes, that would be wonderful. I would feel less, uh, unsafe in if we weren't in this area. You know, in fact, I probably should have waited to write this song once we were in the next town, but I understand. It's okay. You know, it's okay. So, let's go. <laughs> we're gonna make a great team. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> I don't understand why you make the smile when I say that. The smile. 